Welcome to Sally Melody's classroom where we learn basic music. Triads lesson 4. Triads lesson 4. We said that at this level we are going to be looking mostly at major triads. We are going to be working with major triads at this level. The major triads are 1, 4 and 5. Members of code 1, it is always good to know and to master and let them stick into your mind that members of code 1 are do, mi, so. Do, mi, so. Members of code 4, fa, la, do. Fa, la, do. Members of code 5, so, ti, re. So, T, Re. Those are the major or primary chords that we are going to be dealing with. Remember we said they are strong chords. You can use those chords to compose. To compose even without thinking about the other chords. They are strong chords that can stand on their own. But for the secondary chords or minor chords we said, they need the major chords to be to bring out the song a bit strong. If you look at the three triads, you can see that if you combine the nine solfas, you can see that it will give you this, the, the whole solfa ladder. So we have do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. The major or primary triads comprise of the whole solfa ladder and that is why it is they are strong chords they are strong chords here we say that the triads are built on any scale i have not put i have not specified any scale here and i have used the solfas instead of letter names in the previous lesson we used the letter names to construct the triads I thought it is good we use the, the solfas. Let's remind ourselves how we were constructing the triad. You start by, you write the root, that is from do to do, depending on the scale. It can be any scale. It can be C to C, G to G, A to A, B to B, E to E, like that. And then, when you write down the your scale here, you take the third and you write it here on top and then you, 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 you make that scale from the third from which is me to me. And then after that, that is the third, and then after that, you take your fifth, you, which is so, you, you write it here and then you complete the scale up to the end. And then after that, this is fifth. And then after that, you give them the, the degrees of scales. And remember, they are those which have capital Roman numerals and they are those that have small Roman numerals. And we know the reason as to why. We did it in the previous lesson. The ones in capital Roman numerals are major, major triads. And the rest are minor. And then we have a 7 here, which is a diminished. So after you do that, you look at them vertically. Don't look at them horizontally. You start looking at them vertically. And we say that these three notes, they relate to each other. They relate to each other. We said chord 1 has got do, mi, and so. Meaning that when you are writing your song, if this is a, let's assume that because we are doing triads for now, these are three people singing or three voices singing. There is a voice that will be doing do, another one will be doing me, and another one will be doing so. When we come to chord four, which, which has got a fa, la, and do, it means that there is a voice that will be doing fa, there is another one that will be doing la, and the other one will be doing do. Same applies to chord 5. 
a voice one voice will be doing so the other one will be doing t and the other one will be doing re and they relate to each other if you don't combine them the way they are supposed to be then you will feel that your song has a discord and it is not coming out the way it should be so it is always good it is always good to master these things because when we start composing and harmonizing it will be easier so we are dealing with chord 1 chord 4 and chord 5 thank you very much for joining this class see you in the next class